Barcelona. There was a roar outside like a rocket arching over the roofs this morning. Then under the black iron balconies, a brass band marching, detonating for some saint or labor union, defending Catalonia with civic thunder. You smiled it down at them with their banners and sashes, but all you did in Barcelona was cough, like one of those veterans with mournful mustaches left over from the Civil War. That is not enough for such a great city, but you take time in portions, one cough at a time, your personal thunder that turns compassionate heads. What I had waited for was the name to be a banner over every street, crucifixions and velvet, candles and purple crepe, for the crowd in the plaza to leap to its feet at the flourish and trembling stasis of the matador's cape. I could never join in the parade. I can't walk fast, such as time's ordinance, lungs that rattle, eyes that run. Now, no gilded columns, no wine dark seats, no Penelope scoring the stalls with delicate glasses, <clears throat> no practice ecstasy from the tireless tenor, no sweets and wine at low interval, no altars, no altos, no basses, and violins sobbing as one. No opera house, no museum, no actual theater, no civic center, and what else? Only the huge doors of clouds with the setting disk through which we leave and enter. Only the deafening parks with their jumping crowds and the thudding speakers. Only the government buildings down by the wharf and another cruise ship, as big as the capital, all blue glass and cement, glass and cement, no masterpieces in the huge frames to worship. And such banalities has life been spent in brightness. And yet there are the days when every street corner rounds itself into a sunlit surprise, a painting or a phrase. Canoes drawn up by the market, the harbors blue, the barracks so much to do still, all of it praise. I sent you in Martinique, Met, the unfolding letter of a sail, a letter beyond the lines of blindingly white breakers, of lace-laden surplices and congregational shale. I did not send any letter, though it flailed on the wind. Your island is always in the haze of my mind, with the blown-about seabirds in their creole platter of vowels met among makers whom the reef recites in the copper sea almonds blaze, beacons to distant Dakar and the dolphin's acres. This page is a cloud between whose fraying edges a headland with mountains appears brokenly then is hidden again until what emerges from the now cloudless blue is a grooved sea and the whole self-naming island, its ochre verges, its shadow-plunged valley and a coiled road threading the fishing villages, the white silent surges of combers along the coast where a line of gulls has arrowed into the widening harbor of a town with no noise, its streets growing closer like print you can now read. Two cruise ships, schooners, a tug, ancestral canoes, as a cloud slowly covers the page and it goes white again and the book comes to a close. 